Hello guys, it's Ben here from Talk Speak English, the English channel that brings you real everyday English that will help you sound like a true native speaker. Today we're going to look at a conversation between friends and fellow Avengers Scarlett Johansson and Chris Evans. Let's get to it. You boom! Oh my gosh, way to rub it in. I don't even know what it is. You want it. Um, um, how's your daughter? She's good. How old is she? Five. How old is she now? How old is she? The way to rub it in. Depending on the context, to rub something in can have a couple of meanings. First of all, to rub something in means to apply firm pressure to the surface of something using a repeated back and forth motion. For example, to rub in sun cream. In this context, however, it is used to express when someone keeps talking about something or doing something that makes you upset or annoyed. The important thing here to remember is context. Between friends, it can be used in a jokey way, and in the example, Scarlett uses it to tell Chris that he shouldn't boast about the coffee, although her tone suggests it is only a joke and she's not actually offended. You boom! Oh my gosh, way to rub it in. I don't even know what it is. In the next example, when the girl asks the guy, don't rub it in, it's because she doesn't want him to keep repeating the fact that she's single, as it's rather embarrassing for her. Look, uh, well, I know you have a boyfriend, so there's no point in me even asking you. I don't, um, I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, you don't? Yeah, don't remember then. Right. Well, I was wondering if you... And I did just see Marriage Story, and it is phenomenal, and I'll be shocked if you're not showered with awards, but, but what, what made you want to... What made you want to tell that story? I mean, it's heavy, it's dark. Yeah, I, um, you know, probably 10 years ago, I had... Noah and I tried to work on something else together that was... We kind of developed for a little bit and then just didn't end up kind of being right and by the time it was ready to shoot it i it was i was kind of over past it and it, it was just it wasn't the right fit this project no not this another, was a this was a different project oh, that it was another I, one it was another project that noah had never i don't think he ended up actually making it and i i actually thought that he would never call me again i don't know i'm sure you probably have had that experience before where you feel like you kind of if you're not showered with awards but to shower someone with something means to give someone a large quantity of something. For example, the parents showered the child with presents. You'll be sitting on velvet pillows showered with riches, awards. It was, I was kind of over past it. And... To be past something means to no longer be concerned or bothered by something. For example, Tom used to be very nervous about driving, but He's passed it now because he has more experience. You know, like maybe something didn't work out professionally and you're like, well, there goes that relationship. And no, um, no, that's never, never happened to you. Yeah, no. right. Um, and, um, and and so I, I was so surprised when he called me 10 years later, more 15 years later um, to meet and talk about something. I just thought, you know, it was totally came out of the blue and I was I met with him um, in a place in New York and it was like no time had passed at all and it, it was, a, we just kind of shifted right into this moment where, you know, he pitched me this story a little bit and I myself was actually in the middle of going through a divorce and, you know, like maybe something didn't work out professionally and you're like, well, there goes that relationship. To work out has a few meanings, but in this context, it means to come to an agreement with someone. When used in the negative form, it means when you fail to agree on something. For example, after a long legal battle, the team worked out something. You know, it was totally came out of the blue and I was... To come out of the blue is an expression in English that means when something happens without a warning. Take a look at the van in the next clip. We could say that the van came out of the blue, which means it appeared without warning. How's it going guys? And I hope you're learning lots of new phrases and vocabulary. If you are, please don't forget to smash that like button, 
but also subscribe for more great content. Let's get back to the video. You boom! Oh my gosh, way to rub it in. I don't even know what it is. Then by the time it was ready to shoot, it, I, it was, I was kind of over past it, and it, it was just, it wasn't the right fit. This project? No, not this, was a, this was a different project. Oh, it was another I, one. It was another project that Noah... you know, like maybe something didn't work out professionally and you're like, well, there goes that relationship. And no, um, no, that's never, never happened to you? Yeah, no. right. Um, And um, I, and so I I was so surprised when he called me ten years later, more fifteen years later, um, to meet and talk about something. I just thought you know it was t totally came out of the blue, and I was. So there we are guys, another video done for you there, and I hope you learned some cool phrases and vocabulary that you can use to help you sound like a real native speaker. Once again guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.